Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Marcial again. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Today we are going to be reading a book and it's called Service Workers. Now, looking at this page and looking at the title, I'm pretty sure that you can tell me what the author's purpose to this is. So I want us to look through the pictures we see here. Are these actual people? Are these actual photographs that someone took? Yes, they are. They're not illustrations that somebody drew. So that could be a hint. I don't know who this guy is, but he looks like super important. So I'm guessing he is. So judging from this book, what do you think that we are going to learn about? I want you to say it out loud. Let's see. This is called Service Workers by Marianne Linehan. A community is a group of people. Neighborhoods and towns are made up of communities. People and communities do things together. What communities are you a part of? They look like they're having a parade. I know that you, we have parades here in Elgin. I wonder, have you ever been to one? Communities need helpers. A town has many community helpers. They are called service workers. Let's see how service workers help. Police officers patrol their communities using cars, bicycles, or horses. They make sure everyone is safe. Some police officers direct traffic. Police officers help the people in a community live together in peace and safety. Firefighters put out fires in their communities. Fire trucks are tightly packed with ladders, hoses, and masks. Firefighters save people from burning buildings. When an alarm starts ringing in the fire station, firefighters jump into their fire trucks. The trucks roar to the fire. Then the firefighters use their, their hoses to put out the fire. Judging now, you should probably know what the author's purpose is. Teachers and coaches are also community workers. Your teachers help you learn. They may teach you how to read and write. Coaches help you learn how to play sports. Coaches also teach you how to play fairly. So I want you to think, have you ever had a coach before? I know last year I had a lot of students who were in gymnastics, cheer, baseball, soccer. They all had coaches. They don't teach themselves. They had people to help them. Those are service workers too. And honestly, a lot of people in Elgin, sometimes their parents are the actual coaches. So sometimes maybe their parents, they're also coaches, but they're also considered service workers. Doctors and nurses help people stay healthy. When people are sick or hurt, doctors and nurses may work in hospitals and clinics. All these people have something in common. They're all what? They're all helping other people, right? So we can probably agree that service workers all, no matter what they do, they're aiming to help other people. First aid workers help people who are sick or hurt. They quickly drive people to the hospital in their ambulances. First aid workers save lives in our communities every day. Postal workers work at the post office they help their communities by taking care of the mail. Mail carriers carry mail to homes and workplaces. Who brings your mail? You may know a librarian at your school or local library. Who is our librarian? Her name is Miss Rawson. Librarians love to read and they help people find information and in books. Communities are made up of people who live together and help each other. What other communities, community workers can you name? All right. Do the activity after this. I hope that you enjoyed this book. This should be an easy one. You know the author's purpose. Bye.